From as early as January, scientists have been at work developing a vaccine to fight the novel coronavirus. A few companies have indicated that they have vaccines ready for distribution. However, as deadly as the virus is, public skepticism about the safety and efficiency of getting a vaccine is growing. Dr. Melody Ennis joins us. She's Director of Family Health at the Ministry of Health, and she's going to discuss with us that issue. Welcome to Smile Jamaica, Dr. Ennis. Thank you so very much. Good morning. Good morning. morning. Um, wow, a number of scientists and um, companies across the world we've been hearing for the past couple of months have been working on this vaccine, working on this vaccine. Um, how many have been approved and, and, and how many are available to countries around the world? Wow. Indeed, several scientists are in a hurry to get to production line. Yeah. Uh, there are about 212 vaccines that are currently in various stages of trial, uh, a lot in the preclinical stage, but there are about 10 in phase three, which is where our concern lies. And in the news lately, we have heard of the Pfizer vaccine mm -hmm. that is touting 94.5 up to 95% efficacy with that vaccine. At this point, no vaccine has yet been approved. Mm -hmm. However, those front runner vaccines are going to the Food and Drug Administration to see if they can get emergency, uh, emergency use mm -hmm. uh, for their vaccine, emergency approval yes. for their vaccine. And I, uh, a date is set for December for mm -hmm. them to meet with the FDA to seek emergency approval. Doc, can you tell us how, how vaccines work? Because they're doing polls in the States to find out if people will take the vaccine. The number is a kind of, and I don't think it's the buying that they want is there, largely because of how quickly I think this all came together and a lot of, uh, you know, political issues as well. But one day it's going to come to Jamaica and we're going to want people to take it. So how, how does it work for people who don't clearly understand or maybe afraid to take it because they're not sure what it is and how it might affect them? How do vaccines so we work? Have to, we have to remember that vaccines have been around for a long time and vaccines are one of the most efficient public health methods of controlling or even eliminating diseases. For example, polio, measles, uh, rubella, diphtheria, all of those diseases are in the past and it's all because of vaccines. So vaccines are not new. So how do they really work? Well, let's think of the immune system as the defense system of the body. It's an army of soldiers. And the soldiers, the more prepared they are to fight, then the easier it is for them to win. So when germs enter the body, it takes the soldiers a little time to find out all of their intricacies before they can mount the appropriate response. And that gives some time that may cause death. So if, the, if it is a germ that enters, by the time the body gets around to making the, what we call antibodies, then persons might fall ill. However, if we introduce a vaccine, into the body, it mimics what the disease would do and it primes those soldiers. So they make a lot and they produce memory cells. So over time, when the disease actually hit the body, they are ready and raring to go. And we have the antibodies fighting off the disease in uh, this time span that is so short that will prevent disease diseases from occurring so that's pretty much how the vaccines work they prime the body and they allow for memory cells to develop so that once we are hit with the disease mm -hmm. then we can mount the appropriate response and stay safe yeah i think i think one of the concerns doc um people are probably a little bit skeptical because they haven't yet seen it work 
Um, and part of vaccine development, does it mean testing it on a group of people? Does it mean testing it on a, on a target population to say, we've tried it here and, and, and so it really works? Um, I think that's part okay. of it. People, people are, they've heard that so many people are developing a vaccine. They're just not sure which one is the correct one. Okay, so the testing for vaccines are rigorous. Definitely they are. Now, the difference with what is happening here is that the stages are still being followed. However, they are running concurrently. So you have your preclinical stage where you test it on your animals, you mice and your monkeys. Then you have your phase one trial, just a few patients, then phase two, phase three. And in the phase three trial, you have hundreds of thousands of persons mm -hmm. being tested looking for safety and efficacy. What has happened with this vaccine is that those stages are occurring concurrently. But we should also remember that before this novel coronavirus, there were other coronaviruses for example, the Mediterranean one that caused MERS. So these companies have had an idea and they have been testing and they have been in preparation for Corona, for a type of coronavirus. So it really isn't as short as we are thinking that it is. They have been in the stage of test, of developing for a long time. What are the implications for us now in terms of the vaccine? Um, we've heard the PM saying that he wants to make it available, was it December? When was it, Doc? What's the, what's the timeline we're looking at for it to come Okay, so here? We, we are in keeping with the world, and the world is saying that possibly by December, they should have some doses out, and certainly by 2021, April was the latest that we should have some doses. Now... Jamaica is part of the COVAX facility. So let me tell you a little bit about the COVAX facility. This is an entity that was developed earlier this year where government organizations and uh, manufacturers came together to look at the speedy development of the vaccine, but more importantly, equity in the distribution mm -hmm. of the vaccine. So countries like ours that are small would not be at a disadvantage of obtaining the vaccine. So we are a part of this facility committed to getting, and these countries, we will be getting the vaccine through the PAHO revolving, that's the Pan American Health Organization's mm -hmm. revolving fund that is looking at Latin America and the Caribbean on block. So we're not individually, uh, negotiating what we're going as a block and of course you know there is strength in numbers mm -hmm. so we won't be at a disadvantage and jamaica will buy in into this covax facility any of the vaccines that are proven to be safe and efficacious um what would be the rollout plan i know jamaica has a very successful history in terms of vaccination i mean we did polio um, we, we've, we've done rubella, we've done so many things. Is there a plan that we already have that says when we access the vaccine, this is how it's going to be rolled out? There is a plan, and as you might imagine, it's a living plan that's going to change day by day. Mm -hmm. But at the core of the plan is engagement. We have to engage the population. The Ministry of Health and Wellness is committed to that engagement of providing credible information, cutting edge information as it comes off the block. We are very interested in safety of our people. We are not in any way going to put persons at risk. So our plan, in addition to looking at logistics of the vaccine, how we're going to maintain the cold chain, how it's going to be distributed, how we're going to store it. In addition to all of that, foremost is how we engage, mm -hmm. how we interface so that persons have a full understanding of what is going to happen and how they can participate. That's going to be a big deal, Doc, to get the buy-in so that you know people can get it for it to make 
uh, a difference, a positive difference in terms of case count. Anecdotally, are you getting any senses, any feelers on the ground that people are keen? Jamaicans are keen on getting this vaccine? Well, you know, persons are skeptical and understandably so. It's something new and we don't usually run into things as a people so quickly. Mm -hmm. But guess what? We are smart and we look at evidence. That's what Jamaicans do. So once we are able to show the benefits clearly and to allay all fears, then I have no doubt that we will have persons willing to be vaccinated. And of course, what this redounds to is protecting the nation. Okay. Yeah. Um, is it one course, Doc, or two? How many courses ah. have the vaccine left again? Or ah, three. That's, or, or three, or do we need booster doses? Oh. So we're not quite sure as yet because it's going to be very dependent on the vaccine or vaccines that are approved. There are varying dosing schedules. Some will do one or two, and those that do two might do 28 days apart. And then we are wondering, are we going to need booster doses? Uh, how long will immunity last? But as we progress along this continuum of development of the vaccines, then all of those, and all of those questions will be answered. answered. Okay. All right, Doc, we, we wait with bated <laughs> breath. Um, anything <laughs> that can tackle this COVID, huh, we're yeah. on board. <laughs> but, you know, we want to be around when the vaccine or vaccines come along. Yeah. And therefore, we have to do now what is absolutely important. Yeah. Critical and we know what point. those things are. Yeah. We have to wear our masks. We have to wear them correctly. We have to ensure that we remain socially distanced. Mm -hmm. We have to wash carefully and frequently. Yeah. And we need to do this for all our own. We need to not let down our guards because we know Christmas is coming. It's that time where families get together. But we have to be so vigilant because we definitely want to be around for 2021. Yeah. Yes. Thank you, Doc. Appreciate your... Um, information this morning, answering our questions. Thank you so much, Dr. Melody Ennis, Director of Family Health at the Ministry of Health. Please stay safe, Doc. And thank you all so thank much you for the too. work that you continue to do. More right. than welcome. Thank okay. you so much. After the break, a Jamaican cancer researcher will tell us about a recent development in the fight against prostate cancer. I'm excited about that. Please stay with us. We'll be right back.